Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're on the Tesla map because I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment. I wanted to see if top speed tests with um, a single tank track would really be uh, that much better than multiple. Do the benefits of the traction that you get with multiple tracks outweigh the negatives of having more uh, rolling resistance because of a greater contact patch to the ground? And this idea has uh, come to me thanks to um, all of the experiments that Scrapman has been doing recently. So I think it's I think it's appropriate that I give him partial credit uh, for what I'm going to be doing here. So thank you. I mean, in in reality, everybody was planning on going supersonic with the tank tracks. Some of us were just brave enough to say it, and some of us even braver, like Radon to do it before scrap man um but that's besides the point i am going to begin right now i don't know what it's gonna look like i think the only logical way to do this is just make a thing that goes quick and see what happens Alright, so to recap, uh, during that time lapse where you definitely did not see anything that was going on, I built a thing that went quick, like I said, making use of just one Lynx track. And it goes pretty quick, but it's not quite supersonic, although that isn't really the point of this video. The point is just to see if multiple tracks with the same vehicle will go faster or slower, which uh, we're about to find out. And also the vehicle has a uh, bunch of systems, I might say. Uh, so basically I have a, a angle sensor based a gyro stabilizer on the roll and the pitch axis because they are too high and they fit neatly in line with the engines that I'm using and we also have a compass based stabilizer that keeps us on a diagonal uh, so basically I have a compass reading at a 45 degree slant uh, in the in the configuration settings that goes into a product gate with an accumulator that, that uh, lets me set if I want to go forwards or backwards along the diagonal and then uh, that's hooked up to a gyro so when I hit one I can go away from the sun and you'll see that in a second and if I hit two I can go towards the sun I'm pretty sure that's which way around it is um and then there's also just there's also gimbals that are on toggle on space and there is a uh all of the engines are toggled on w uh but yeah right off the bat i can say it doesn't feel better yet but we can try come on i think i want to take that back 500 came pretty easily hit the corner perfectly yo what where did it all go what i fell off the end so the wall it literally stops you from falling into the void but that was a perf can we get an instant replay on that that was a perfect corner actually could not have gone better if I tried. This feels weird. So now I'm just going to use this exact vehicle, but instead line the bottom with as many Lynx tracks as humanly possible. Will it be better? We're about to find out. The exact same vehicle, 
but with nine more, it, it certainly feels better. Holy! And there's Supersonic. In the exact same vehicle, just with 10 tank tracks instead of just one. And oh, it keeps going. It comes the time now to test this theory with the raw tracks instead. Okay, well, hit 1050. What about 1100? Uh, it won't. It'll get pretty close. But it will not be. Now, it's time to... Excuse me, please. Behave. Now we shall do the exact same thing, but with lots of them instead. So it'll look like that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six tank tracks instead of just one. Now that I think about it, I don't actually remember how fast we got. Um, but, uh, you know what? Let me just uh, stop recording and... Oh yeah, the uh, single roar was much better. So I guess, I guess it depends in that case. It depends on what track you are using. So let's give it a final test with the golem track. And there's the border. Is there an 820 in this? There, there is. 820 kilometers an hour is the speed to beat with just one track. 800. There's 820 and still accelerating. Although the speedo does not look happy to be alive right now. There's 900 right there. Just barely pushing through. I don't know why it's uh, jiggling like that. I don't quite like that. Um, but you know, is there a thousand to be had in this one? Maybe there is, maybe there is. I will believe, I will believe. Oh dear. Come on! What? Where's all the damage? There's no damage. What? What? Eh? What on earth? Hello? The build is fine. Is it just going to sit there now? Oh my god. Well, what did we learn today? I think we learned that the uh, rule of thumb for top speed tests with tank tracks is as follows. If you're going for speed, the Lynx tracks love to be paired with some friends. The Roars and the Golems do not. I've never doubled them up before, so I'm interested to see how that goes. Ah, uh, but there you have it, folks. An experiment to see if tank tracks are stronger together on a top speed test or not. And the answer is sometimes and so on that note i'd like to thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed definitely leaving a like and consider subscribing it is free you can always change your mind later but as far as this video is concerned that'll be it from me this has been utify and i'll catch you all again in the next one uh